In the early 1980s, many called it gay cancer, because the first recognised cases were gay men. Soon, other victims of the disease emerged, like haemophiliacs and heroin addicts. On the 5th of June 1981, a medical journal in the US warned the world that their immune systems were being compromised, with no known cause. The virus loge. The virus infects the cells of the immune system, depleting white blood cells, which fight against infections. AIDS brings with it all sorts of infections, inflammations and pneumonia, which can affect nearly every organ, which explains why initially people have on average two years to live. In 1983, researchers identified the virus that would later be named HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, but the battle had only just begun. Originally from Central Africa, HIV spread across the world, helped by the movement of people and by prostitution. It's most commonly transmitted via exposure to blood or unprotected sex. Young adults around the world are the main victims. The pandemic was at its peak in the 2000s, when more than one and a half million people died from it each year. At that moment, we realised Africa was more medicalised than we thought, with an enormous frequency of injections and transfusions taking place. With more unsterilised material, sadly, there were vaccination campaigns which were actually spreading AIDS. Today, antiretroviral treatments have drastically reduced mortality. Around 38 million people are living with HIV or AIDS today. In every country, however, there are many people who aren't aware they have the virus, while there are many others who are, but don't seek treatment.